Read them and weep. Only on social media do 21-year-olds having salary requirements and come healed as their dating requirements. Man, shut up. You were just eating chicken nugget sandwiches and chocolate milk for lunch a few years ago. At 21, really? <laughs> I don't know a 21-year-old that has ever had their stuff together, just in general, or even had a quarter of their stuff together. Talking about come healed. <laughs> You're still going through the drama and trauma that you need to be healed from that you don't even know you're going through right now. Right now in your 20s, you're going through that. In your 20s, you think toxic is sexy. Well, you think it's a good trait. To a lot of y'all, toxic got ass. Or toxic got some good dangling. And y'all enjoy that. You don't even know it's a problem. Some of y'all actually think that toxic is how life really is. You know why? Because you're not healed. People out here dating somebody, sitting across from them, thinking like, oh, they crazy, man. I can't date this person. They crazy, they insane, they wild, they too much for me. And then that other person is thinking the same thing about you. Because you are. Both of y'all are crazy. Both of y'all are insane. Both of y'all are not healed yet. Forget being healed yet. Let's be realistic here. Who's ever really fully healed? Hmm? I was in therapy for over three years. In most cases, you don't even know you have a problem. You think everything is cool. You think you are perfect in your 20s. So for you to sit there and say you got to come healed, you don't even know what that really means yet until you meet somebody who's actually healed. In most cases, that's not going to happen until like 30s, 40s, sometimes 50s. Come healed. Damn, everybody in the country depressed. They also type of pill, has some type of anxiety, can't be around people, introverted, all types of stuff. And you want them to come healed? They got to come healed at, at 20, at 21 though. You show me a healed 21 year old, I'll show you a liar. And that's going to prove to you that they're not healed because they're a liar. And what are they lying for? Probably some stuff in their past that they're not healed from. And you want somebody to have a salary at 21 years old? Stop it. Most people in their 20s are going to probably be making an hourly income. Let's be realistic here. They don't just go around offering salaries and health packages for people that are 21 years old. They don't even want to do that. For instance, myself, I walked across that stage in college. I grabbed that little fake diploma that they be giving you, you know, that little paper thing that ain't really your diploma, but they say it is to make it look good in front of all the people, right? I grabbed that, right? I got off stage with my cap and gown, and you know what? I didn't really get my degree because I was a few credits short. But they let you walk when you got enough credits, but they won't give you that degree until you get all your damn credits. And then I went out job hunting. That's right. I went out into the workforce. And you know what I did? I did like every great American does. I lied on my resume. Told them that I had a bachelor's degree. That's right. And you know what they said to me in every interview that I went to? Sorry, we can't hire you. You need at least three to five years of work experience. In my head, I'm like, Goofy, that's what I'm here for, to get the work experience. And that was my mistake. I should have lied more on my resume. I should have said I had three to five years of work experience. Not even just that. These were for jobs that were paying thirty-five to $45,000 in Los Angeles, California. You know what that is? That is a poverty salary that they wouldn't give me with my college degree, at least on paper. And you expect mad 21 year olds out here in the dating world to have a salary and have their stuff together mentally and come and heal? Shut your mouth. I keep hearing from friends that are older and younger saying how hard it is to date right now. And this is why unrealistic expectations. When I was 21 years old, all you needed to be was alive. Sure, I wanted you to have a job. Sure, I wanted you to know how to cook. But that wasn't a requirement for me at 21. You know why? Because that's ridiculous. As long as you was cool to be with, I was good. And if you had cakes, that was a bonus. Life's already hard enough. For you youngsters out there, don't make it harder on yourself. We sit there and we see how young people are saying how they're depressed. This is one of the reasons why. The expectations to just be outside and living and just going on a cool date with somebody is unrealistic and just wild. So of course you can't find someone. It makes sense that you're depressed. You wanna be out here with the girls and the guys and you're like, man, I just wanna have a good time and date somebody and just find somebody that I'm cool with, that I that I mentally link with. And they're like, nah, man, how old are you? You're 21, right? Is all your stuff together at 21? Huh? Are you driving a, a, a luxury car? Do you have a house at 21 years old? You need a house. Matter of fact, you need not even just a luxury car. You need a regular car too, like an EV, an electrical car. That I, I know you, you're trying to good, do good for the environment. You need to have a 70-inch flat screen TV. You need to have a house with a backyard too, not just a house and you just got a front yard. You need to have a front and a backyard that you got to manicure yourself. You know how to manicure your yard? You want to do that? On top of that, matter of fact, at 21 years old, do you know how to build your own house? 
Forget, forget just buying a house. Did you build your house from scratch? You got to do all the electrical work by yourself? Hmm? You got to do that at 21? It's funny. Every time I talk to somebody in a different generation, they always say how they love their generation and how their generation is the best, right? And I don't want to sit there and say that mine's is. And I do love my generation. And I do think we have some flaws. But I do think this next generation is going through hell. And they're putting themselves through hell. And you don't have to, man. You're 21 years old. Have fun. That's it right there. You can start to heal at some point in your 20s, but first, you're gonna have to figure out what you even have to heal from. You might not even realize you have childhood trauma yet, like abandonment issues, or daddy issues, or mommy issues. You might not even know you have those things until you hit your 30s or 40s. Just have fun, man, live life. Enjoy each other's company, all right? And get the hell off my page.